Hello, welcome to Tricky IELTS. I'm sure you'll be fine. Today, I'll share 10 tricks which will enhance your listening skills in just 8 days and you'll be able to secure higher band in IELTS listening module. Practice on these points as much as you can for the sake of desire band. Stay here and watch this video till the end. The first point which I'm going to share with you is Enhance your general listening skills. Keep in mind, practice tests will not improve your listening ability. They will only help you to become familiar with a listening test. Listen to various documentaries, radio and TV for at least 30 minutes to overcome this issue. So if you want to secure higher band in IELTS listening module, then you have to improve your general listening skills, which is not possible without practice. So if you want to practice on your general listening uh, skills, you have to listen to various radio or TV program for 30 minutes on a daily basis. Contraction Learn the correct pronunciation of contraction and listen to British, Australian and American accent for at least 30 minutes daily. Keep in mind, native speaker use contraction during communication. So if you want to secure higher band in IELTS listening module, then you have to pay specific attention to contraction. And you have to learn the correct pronunciation of contraction. For example, they are there, cannot, can. So try to learn the correct pronunciation of contraction, which will uh, enhance your score in a short span of time. And practice on British, Australian and American accent on daily basis. Timing. Be very careful here. During the instruction, try to read the question and underline keywords. Do not review your answers during the test. Most students, they just, uh, mean, they just pay attention to the instructions whenever uh, the speaker uh, means that they are talking about uh, something or means whenever they are giving instructions. So the students, they just pay attention uh, to the instructions. So don't pay attention to the instruction. Try to read the instruction, but do not uh, pay uh, attention means to the audio instruction. During the instruction, try to uh, underline keywords and try to guess the possible answer. Do not review your answer during the test. Means whenever, uh, means up in the end of every section, uh, means you'll have uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds, uh, means they want you to review your answer. So don't review your answer that time. Try to, uh, means try to underline keywords. Try to use that time, uh, means in a good way. So during that time, try to underline keywords and try to guess the possible answers. Do not write answers too quickly. Do not fall in this trap because most students write answers too quickly. We are speaker change answer later on, so be careful. Means mostly uh, students, whenever they listen to the first word, they directly write that. Uh, so means uh, later on, the, the the speaker they change their answers, and the students are unable uh, means to correct their answers. So be very careful. Do not fall in this trap. Means whenever uh, you are uh, listening, so try to write that answer, but wait till the end. Means you should wait that, yeah, uh, is the, the speaker going to change the answer or not? It's, it's the same. Try to complete all questions. Keep in mind, you will not lose marks for incorrect answers. Predict answer if you miss because there is no punishment for wrong answers. Always uh, mean, uh, predict answers uh, according uh, to the rules and regulation of grammar and you should reread that sentence. Maybe you will get the correct answer. So, in IELTS, uh, means most students, uh, they, they leave blanks, which is not good. You should, you shouldn't do that. Means whenever, uh, you, you missed one, two blanks. So try to predict and try to, to put something from your side. Maybe you'll get the correct one. Focus. Remember, you'll hear that you want to do not uh, be panic if you fail to listen some words and miss some questions. 
leave them and focus on the actual part for example if you miss a question so don't be panic uh, don't think about that question so if you do so means uh, they are not going to stop means that they are just uh, mean continue mean they just continue and they, they are just having conversation so uh, it, it would be better for you means to just continue or just uh, go with the, the the listener means don't stop uh, and don't get panic if you missed one or two uh, blanks or one or two questions so go ahead linking word pay specific attention to linking words because if you pay specific attention to these words like however but then finally it will clear what the speaker is talking about means for example whenever the speaker is going to explain something so how he will explain and when there is contrast idea so how the speaker is uh, putting their uh, linking words so be very careful and uh, pay specific attention to these words like however but then finally try to polish your topic vocabulary because mostly section 3 is about education so master various words relevant to higher education it will help you to score higher in section 3 proof read at the end you need to proof read everything and double check your answers this will improve your accuracy mostly students they just write and they don't think that uh, mean what we are doing or Uh, means what we have written they just ignore that don't do that try to check your spellings and try to 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 read that what you have written transfer answers accurately at the end of the listening test you will have 10 minutes for transferring your answer into the answer sheet write the answer in the correct space number keep in mind i'll share uh, one thing here that whenever you are writing your answer so, uh, write all your answer in small or in capital letter it's up to you that if you want to write in small or if you want to write in capital letter it will help you means uh, there will be you can say no mistake and uh, try to write uh, means the answers in a way that uh, it should be legible means whenever the examiner is reading so it should be legible so always try to write in small or capital letters so means whenever uh, you write answers so be very careful that time check spellings and uh, you should check that i have written all answers are you can say in small or in capital letter so by this uh, means there are less chances of grammatical mistakes i hope uh, you enjoy this video thank you for watching